Sabrina Carpenter. You might know her from the Goodwin Games. You might know her from Girl Meets World. You might know her from her 10 million Instagram followers. You're so jealous. So je- I have ten. <laughs> I have ten. I can give you a shout out. Can you? Yeah, of course. I, I would really like to double my number to twenty today. Uh, let's let's make it happen. <laughs> that would really be awesome. Just use a lot of hashtags. I hear that works. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. Well, that's okay. what we're doing wrong. No hashtag stuff. Dang it. I'll hashtag Honestly, the I word never, hashtag. I never use hashtags, but I've heard that like if you wanna, <laughs> I don't know, like that does something. So. Like when you started on Instagram, I mean, people knew you from uh, Disney, right? So when you started, did you go from like zero to a hundred thousand in twenty four hours? N- not quite. I started. I started on um, Instagram. I think before it probably was a couple months before I, I started um, doing the show. But you have to keep in mind, like even when you book the show, the, it doesn't come out for another year. Oh, so yeah. there was like a long time where I was just, you know, posting things I probably shouldn't <laughs> ever let anyone see. And then of course, like now you go back and delete things. You shouldn't. You should all let it be a part of your history and childhood embarrassing moments. But um, okay, be honest with us. What are the two pictures that no one will ever see on Instagram? Because now you're wildly famous, but back then you put up, but you had to take down. Oh gosh! You know what? I used to um, I used to get really creative with my photo editing. So I would take like a lot of big text edit letters in bright colors and like add little emojis to like my. And I thought I looked so cool. And like, it, say there was a picture of me in a crown, I would be like total diva. And I just th- those should never be on the internet. Do you still have the rule, Bert? If you post a, f- a picture and it doesn't get a certain amount of likes, you are you it? serious? I have, a, I have I have a cut number. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the cut number? I can't tell you because yours is so high that mine <laughs> yeah. is so pathetically no, low. No, it's not. Everyone's got, I mean, I'll tell okay. you my cut number. So you do have, you don't even ha- I don't make have it one. one. I don't have one. I, I have a 14-year-old cousin who has a cut number, and so he look, it looks like he has five pictures posted because he just, if they, he'll delete them. <laughs> I put one up of myself, and he was like, if that doesn't get 150 likes in the next half hour, yeah. I'm taking it down. Well, mine increases with the more followers I get, so at one point it was 300, now it's 500. So See, if it, that's not bad at all. 500's the, a lot. And he was so jealous. <laughs> Because he posted this really, really sweet photo of him and his kids doing something. And it got a decent amount of likes. Serena, I struggle. I mean, I can't wait to get to heaven to ask God how long that I have spent and wasted in my life on picking the right picture, the right filter. And it gets like 500 people. And then this one. I went uh, went to the beach and had a day drinking day. So was a little bit intoxicated. And then this (laughs) rainbow, a rainbow appeared out of nowhere. So I had my boyfriend at the time, now fiance, go, hey. Angled this so it looks like I'm shooting the rainbow out my butt. He took a picture of me <laughs> shooting this rainbow out my butt, and it got I'm like sorry points for creativity though. Thank like, you. Thousands was, and thousands. That's the only of- thing I have to say. Like that's that's really genius. I walked in here and like the chemistry of the show was all off because I couldn't tell her why I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> he was legitimately mad. My rainbow so butt pictures. I've never thought about it one time, and I put up some awful pictures. Actually, everything I live streamed from the Super Bowl this past weekend probably needs to get deleted. <laughs> Every single thing. And even posting like inspirational quotes, sometimes I wonder if they're too cheesy after I've posted them. That's one thing that I will question. But then I'm like, it's helping someone, so right. just keep posting it. Right. <laughs> when you have that many followers, though, do you feel like you have a sense of responsibility? Are you going through multiple filters in your head? of like whether or not you should post this for like any type of ramifications because people are a little bit opinionated on social media. Of course, of course. Um, No, I don't because if they have time to comment on your filter... Y- it, you get my point. So, right. um, so yeah, I think I think when I was younger, I used to worry about like a theme, like a little bit more. But now it's just sort of like I'll, I'll post so many pictures without a filter or in black and white. Like it's either it's one or the other. I'm guessing when you first started that you had a pretty thin skin when it came to comments, and then over the years, or uh, you had to get a pretty thick skin. Do you remember the last time somebody made a comment to you, or it just like really affected you, like really bummed you out? Like yesterday. Yeah. yeah? No. But I mean, it's one of those things where actually I think I was. Not that, no, I think I'm still as, as thick-skinned as I was when I started, but I was pretty thick-skinned when I started because I think I was I was probably like 9 or 10 when I started posting videos on YouTube. And mm-hmm. so I didn't I didn't care what, you know, Jeffrey from Puerto Rico said about, you know, my my latest cover because there were so many people saying nice things that you don't you don't really pay attention to the one negative one. Um but I'm going through puberty now. Um <laughs> but but no, I I don't think I try just I try not to pay attention to it. That's yeah. that's all you can do. Is that something your parents instilled in you? Like how did you get that mindset because I think there's so many 
um, young people who could learn from that and not take stuff so personally. Well, I think that's it is just is not um, being so sensitive when it comes to the Internet, because so much of it is false. Some of it is real, but you can't really tell the difference all the time. And so you don't want to drive yourself crazy. Live in the real world. Right. Um, keep good people around you. Um, and, you know, those are the people that are going to shower you with love and, and they'll be honest with you. But those are the those are the type of people that you want to listen well, to. And people that troll you on social media, they put such little thoughts and little there's no emotional investment on their part unless no. you respond. So you, then they get a reaction and yeah. you're validating they're like, oh, look, oh, she replied. And they probably are like, hey, uh, hey look, it's Brita Blood. <laughs> you know, they get excited. <laughs> no, get about that. It. no, for sure. I think. And that's exactly what they want. My parents, I will say they always said, like, don't respond to the one negative comment like you easily could. Right. But there's so many people saying incredibly nice things that like, why, why, why do you give the attention to the person that's saying one mean thing? You know, I see so many people that are like 13, 14, 15 years old. And they're getting into the industry now because their primary goal is to be a celebrity, right? Can you talk to those people and go, okay, look, uh, you know, I don't know what your feelings on it. Maybe it, it, that's the reason why you got in. But <laughs> totally, I'm, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm assuming. It, I mean, you're sharing yourself, and the celebrity comes along with it. And then when you get there, I'm thinking there's got to be things that people don't know about celebrity that just aren't great. Absolutely. I mean, there's things about every job that I think people can relate to that aren't great. Um, that's the thing is, like, I think a lot of people forget that it's it's a at the end of the day, like they always say, if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. But it is a job. So I think, um, you know, with any job, you take on things that you love and things that you might not like so much. But that's part of it. You know, mm -hmm. some of it is work. And so um, I think I'm just super lucky that it was always something that I love to do for fun. You know, I never really had to think about what I wanted to be when I grew up because I wanted to be what I wanted to be at 10 years old. Um, and I'm only 17 now, which isn't that much older. But, um, <laughs> Half your but life. I'm getting you there. I'm it. getting there. And I'm just, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm able to do it. And, you know, there's so many different lanes of things that you can get into. So I think that's the best thing about it. All right, I'm gonna ask something completely superficial, really quick. Great. How do you get those fantastic beachy waves in your hair? This? Can, that is amazing. Thank you. No, seriously. So By the way, sweet. that was my next question. I'm right. sure was it was. Really? I wow. had it written down on my list too, Chris. You're just hogging all the, the good ones. Chemistry today is great, guys. You guys got it down. Um, no, I think honestly, you don't like those little wands. I put it through my hair for like two seconds on each thing, and it just and it just does that. Happens. Yeah. 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 See, mine always end up being like the Shirley Temple ringlets. I want my hair to look like that. Do you want to ask Kristen how how um, she gets her hair to look like how that How did every you get morning? that messy bun? <laughs> <laughs> it's called I worked out yesterday and I didn't wash it. You're I'm welcome. not joking, though. Messy buns are hard to do. That is not a bad messy bun. <laughs> Wait, so a messy bun, that's not by design. It's just a bun that's messy, right? Correct. It's a bun that's messy, but it has to be like the perfect <laughs> amount of messy. You have or no else you look like a slob. Yep. <laughs> there is. There's, a, there's that fine line between slob and, ooh, you're very Ooh, fashionable. Yeah, exactly. It's High fashion. It's so complicated being a girl and a woman. She told us the other day she's gone five days without washing her hair. What's the longest you've gone without washing your hair? I have a lot of hair. So I try, well, I mean. Honest. Third day hair is best day hair. I'm being honest. Third day hair, really? Yeah, for me it is. The longest I've ever gotten was probably the same, probably around five days. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not without to... taking a shower, just without washing my hair. Uh, you get it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I hope you guys didn't think I went five days without a shower because you can't take a shower without washing your hair. I mean, is it really True. that much of a leap of faith? No, I guess not really. <laughs> I'm just realizing right now that I haven't looked at myself in a mirror today <laughs> at all. Not even in the bathroom. I, I just didn't even look then either. Hey, good. Don't. <laughs> Woke up like this. No makeup. That's great. What is it in like the Divergent movies? Like they can't, they don't have mirrors or something. Like they can't look in mirrors. That'd be genius. Oh, I wish we didn't. I wish mirrors weren't invented. Like in a way, like I wish mirrors weren't invented almost. <laughs> wouldn't that be great? You wouldn't care so much. Sabrina Carpenter joined us. Um, I know that you were in, and can, tell me if I get this right. You, you were on a show with uh, Miley Cyrus, came in third place in some kind. Yeah, I was 10. 10 years old. Yeah. At that point, did Miley give you any kind of advice? Because she's been there, done it. I met her. She was, I mean, she was my idol when I was 10 years old. I, I was in her uh, fan club online, and I entered this contest, and I just submitted a video of me singing Carrie Underwood, and there was like, 10,000 other entries and then as it kept going it was like oh you made it into the top 50 40 30 blah 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 and then down to the final three um which was crazy because i was i was 10 but i got to meet her in the process wow. um and i got to learn so much about so many different styles of music because throughout the contest she made us cover which i give her credit for this, she made us cover um the beatles michael jackson um diva so i did christina aguilera so there was a lot of just knowledge that i was learning i think i was uh definitely breaking out of my performance shell and then from that contest, I started doing videos on YouTube, which I think definitely got me started. So 
is a lot to thank for that. For that, which it seems like a while ago. But. A lot of parents don't agree with me on this one when it comes to Miley Cyrus. I think she's a great role model. I mean, you talk about a, a she's one hundred percent okay with herself. She's right? authentic. Yeah. And yeah. She's genuine. super authentic and doesn't care what anybody thinks. And I think that's you know that's the only thing you could ask for in a role model. And Robin Thicke issue is a little bit of a problem. Yeah. But I put that on Robin Thicke for being a little bit of a creep. <laughs> Yesterday is yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. I, so now, I don't know if I have my chronological order of, of things right. Uh, Girl Meets World, you were on that show or recently Indeed. when it got canceled? Okay, because it just got canceled, right? Yes, it did. Right, we did sucks. three seasons. All right. and, you know, it doesn't, I mean, in the big picture, there's so many shows that go for two episodes, let alone three seasons. We made 75 episodes. And, you know, for us, it was it was a big deal to, to speak to this new generation that really needed a show, I think, like that at the time and um we hope that it lives on um as i understand it like people were angry they're angry that this show got canceled because it connected with so many people right it's very sweet for us to hear that you know the fact that people are upset that it's over you know that means we we did something right and there's so many outlets for resurgences because i mean you look at full house and that Mm -hmm. goes away now it's like netflix brings it back and then boom you have another right isn't there a rumor now that Netflix is already talking about bringing There's it back? There's rumors. I just, I, I'm going to sit here until something happens. <laughs> I'm not sitting, actually, anywhere. I'm, I'm moving <laughs> quite often. But um, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything. But I've I've heard they're, they're so passionate online, which is the best thing about it. We always had the most incredible fan base for so, every episode. So if Netflix comes back to you and says, hey, Serena, are you in? Then you're in. I'd talk to Netflix. You talk. I'd talk to Netflix. Because then you get invited to the Netflix parties and the Stranger Things kids are going to be there. I was going to say, I'm busy on Halloween, guys, so just in case you wanted to invite me anywhere, <laughs> I just have to let you know already. <laughs> are you totally into that show? Yeah, absolutely. I don't actually watch a lot of TV shows, so the yeah. fact that I got that I did watch that show, I was, I was very, I loved it. Okay. I didn't hear you say that I would absolutely 100% commit to Netflix if Girl Meets World comes back. Oh, I mean, I think there's so much that has to go into it. Like, I don't I don't know all the details and stuff, but honestly, like, working with those people again would not be the biggest problem in my life. <laughs> okay. They're so incredible. Bert, and, oh, I'm 100% in on that show. You, you're 100%? Oh, yeah. If they ask me, I'd do it. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. then we'll talk, we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, you can cool. play, like, the grandfather. Yeah, something, something man. They got to have a neighbor, like a weird neighbor role. <laughs> something like that, right? A weird neighbor. <laughs> yeah, just hang out. Sit on a deck. <laughs> That's amazing. The one that nobody talks to. Yeah, yeah, yeah just always car. waving. Don't even, I don't even need lines. Just, just hey. waves. <laughs> All right, Sabrina Carpenter, let's talk about music. That's what you're Let's here for it. today. All right, so you've got a new song coming out, right? Mm-hmm. What you got? So Thumbs is my is my latest single, which I released my sophomore album um, a few months ago, and it's called Evolution. I started writing it over a year ago, um, but it was a big change from my first album, Eyes Wide Open, which I released when I was 16. So um, I called it Evolution because there was a lot of growth. And thematically, when writing the album, I wanted it to be universal. So um, the change in content, but most of all, I think a lot of it thematically is love. That's why the first four letters of evolution backwards are love um, and growth together because there is a lot of change. Is there, um, was it from a place of how you were feeling in a current relationship or was it, is this all... uh theory at this point it's a lot of life it's a lot of observation it's a lot of feelings there's so many different things that you can write about and it's limitless um it can be about any sort of relationship in your life and you can turn it into something i think the best thing is that there's no rules um and so going into it i wanted it to be different and it definitely is different but i'm very very happy about the response through the songwriting process are you like do you like to do it on your own or are you big with collaborating with other people to feed off of them i do collaborate with other people but i am picky i will say about who I collaborate with because there are some people that you know um, knowing my age knowing my background will I think have preconceived notions Mm -hmm. and then there's so many people going to this album that let me take charge which was such an incredible thing to feel like you know I know the reason why every song in the album is made and, you know, why this sound is in the second verse and, you know, all this stuff that probably nobody else cares about, but I wanted to know. Um, and so so I was very, very happy that I got to work with some incredible people. And do you surround yourself mostly with people your age or are you collaborating with people that are older than you? That's a good question. I think they're all they're all fairly young and talented. I don't want to call anyone old. Like, <laughs> oh, you can. Like, they're not, they're not like... 
No, I think they were all like, you know. If you're 17, like 23 is old. I wanted, yeah, it's true. I wanted you to say like, you know, like 47, 48. <laughs> like, ancient. oh God, you're still alive? Ancient. <laughs> no, they were all respectable ages. <laughs> I mean, you're 49, you get out of here. Done in this industry. Jeez. No, I think the point that I was going to try to make is that when you're 17 and you have your own vision, uh, there are adults, other adults yeah. that come in your life that think they know better just because they have more life experience. And you're like, no, I can follow myself here and I'm going to be plenty successful. Well, and I think there's so many definitions of what right and wrong is. And, you know, just because some someone has a lot of experience and has had, you know, a lot of great things. You know, there's so many people that are open to hearing about, you know, this this generation, too. And I think it's good to make the two worlds collide, which is what I tried to do with this album. You'll find a lot of uh, throwbacks to, to really, really old songs or just, you know, stuff that I was inspired by, you know, whether it's the Beatles or, you know, Aretha Franklin, like stuff like that. So I just I find a lot of inspiration everywhere. Are you going to introduce uh, people 17 years old to Aretha Franklin? They're going to be like, who is that? Oh, what? If you don't know, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of the album. Yeah. <laughs> She's like in her head right now. She's like, ooh, that's a great line. I'm writing a new song right Honestly, now. Honestly, <laughs> though. <laughs>